Wall whiplash today with the back and forth on the border wall and how to pay for it. Who's going to pay for the wall? Mexico says it won't. So late this afternoon, the administration floating an idea to slap a 20% tax on Mexican imports, a way to fund the estimated 8 to $14 billion wall. But under that plan, it would be Americans who'd probably end up paying more for imports like cars, fruits and vegetables, and alcohol. In effect, footing the bill themselves. That headline coming as President Trump made his way back from Philadelphia on his first trip on Air Force One. It's a great plan. In the back cabin, his press secretary sharing details. Well, by doing it that way, we can do $10 billion a year and easily pay for the wall. But less than two hours after landing, the administration hastily huddling with reporters in the West Wing to walk back what it just said. Chief of Staff Reince Priebus saying the import tax is simply part of a buffet of options, not the final plan. Putting on a tax like this, the goods are being imported for us. We want those avocados. We want those auto parts. We want those tomatoes. So we're going to have to pay for them. The Mexican president under pressure at home to stand up to the new administration, canceling his first meeting set for next week with President Trump who insists it was actually a mutual decision. Unless Mexico is going to treat the United States fairly, with respect, such a meeting would be fruitless, and I want to go a different route. Mexico clearly agitated. Its foreign minister abruptly canceling his own visit to the Homeland Security Department today. An agency official telling NBC News he simply drove past the entrance without stopping. The Trump administration, however, needs to address this immediately, this situation, and communicate to the Mexican government and to the Mexican people that building the wall, it's not a sign of disrespect. When President Trump talked about not meeting with the Mexican president here at a Republican retreat in Philadelphia, he was met with silence. One member of Congress tells me today the president needs to be careful to keep a friendly relationship with one of our key allies, closest trading partners, and of course, our nearest neighbor. Lester. Ali Jackson in Philadelphia, thank you. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.